Hey, what's up? My name's Paige, and welcome back to Bone Apple Tea. Today we have a very special guest. What's up, guys? I'm Peyton Moormeyer. <laughs> nice to see you all. And what are we going to be making? Fried chicken. Yeah, we are. And this is a family recipe? No, this is a Google oh, recipe. Okay. Yes, Google recipe. But it could be a family it recipe. It could be a family recipe. Too. All right, yeah. I got the wrong information, but it's fine. Family recipe. Family recipe. Yes. <laughs> All right, so Perfect. how do we get things started? Uh, open up the chicken right, right here, which is right here. This is good. I like tenderloins, chicken tenders, chicken fingers, anything you want to call them. They're great. This is like the gross part because it's like raw I'll chicken. You, I'll let you handle this yeah, situation. Perfect. All right, so I think we should put some wrap on this. Okay, okay. Just in case. I'm on it. Perfect. I feel like four is a good number. Yeah. Just four? four? Five. Five? Five. Six? Yeah. Two to 20? Perfect. No, no, 20. Five. Lay it out right here. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I feel like four is four a good. Four is good. Number. Yeah, four, four is solid. Good. This yeah. goes over? That's uh, I feel like that would this looks professional. This, this, is, this looks, looks, good. I mean, this it looks is very professional. professional. Like, I mean, we are like, professionals. So yes. We cook all the time. Every single day of my life. Next up, mallet. I'm pretty sure this is to get flavors into the chicken. You just kind of like, that's, that's good. That looks like tenderized, right? It looks very tender. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now okay. I have to prep the chicken because now it's like, this. Yeah. This is also cool because you can make this like really fast. Yeah. All right, we're gonna set these aside and start prepping our eggs. Yes, the And batter. seasonings? Yes. Okay, cool. All the good stuff. Oh, those are the best ones. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. She was. <laughs> oh, no. I get these same eggs. I have the same ones at my house oh, right yeah. now, actually. They're the best. And how many? Uh, three. Like three is a good amount. Do you wanna like rotate cracking? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll grab one. So here's the strategy. I don't know if like you know how to crack eggs like crazy because some people. Like, I don't. Okay. I'm just... But uh, it might be better than that. What? Oh. <laughs> it's all good. Oh my gosh. I lied. I oh, you got a shell got in shake. there. Oh it's no. Okay. Do you right. want to get the last one? Or... Um. Well, the, the fact that I got shells in there, I think you might have won. I feel like I'm gonna get this with one hand. This is gonna be a legendary. I've never attempted this in my career of cooking. Here we are. Boom. Wait, one hand? No, I can't. That's <laughs> not gonna happen. I like the, the dedication. Thank you so much. The two second dedication was very yep. admiring. Ah. I'll start whisking this yes. if you wanna start doing the other Red seasoning. Crumbs and that. Yeah. This is science. Red crumbs. It's uh, like two cups? Yeah, it's about two cups. I, I'm a big like Italian seasoning guy, like the basil and, mm -hmm. and all this. So I feel like it just it makes everything better. Some Italian herb seasoning. Yep, yep, yep. Modest amount. This is the salt, right? That's the salt. How does this work? This is take the little wood thing off. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yep, yep. There salt. we go. Modest amount as well. A little bit of pepper too. This one you can go a little bit crazier on because you know we love this is uh it's feeling kind of warm. Oh yeah, that's a lot. I feel like we should check. What is it, 375? Yeah, 350, 375. Heat your oil to 350 or 375. Yep. Great, okay, we're ready? We're ready. Awesome. Okay, so what do we do first? Is it like egg, then bread, egg, and then... then bread, and then you're back in the egg, back in the bread. All right. Should be good. This, so... is, this is honestly therapeutic. Right. Boom, this one's good. I feel like that's... And that's set here. <laughs> that's a beautiful... Oh, looking. yeah. Don't you just love when things work out the way they're supposed to? Oh, my gosh. So what have you been working on recently, like music-wise? Um, kind of a lot of stuff. I I was on tour and like... Who were you on tour with? A bunch of people. I did like, uh, you know Boys of Summer tour mm -hmm. that. I did that. That was recent, yeah. Yeah, that was super recent in the summer. The first time like performing and doing all that. That was your first time performing? Yeah. Like first ever show? Like live performance, yeah. Everything like that. Oh. I did like live stream stuff and stuff Wow. Like that. Yeah. They, How did it feel to be on stage in front I, of all those people? A lot different than I expected, to be honest. I really thought that like it would feel somewhat similar to like recording in the studio and all that, but definitely not. How did it feel to like have people singing your lyrics back to you? That was crazy. It was yeah. like a month and a half, a month, so I wasn't like here making music. Mm -hmm. So once I got back, I was just excited. You're back in it again? Yeah, to get back in and make a bunch of stuff, so. Amazing. Yeah. I'm happy with how these are turning out so far. That's and you started making music kind of recently, right? Like before the pandemic? Yeah, like right before the pandemic. Right, that's what right I thought. Before. I'll be like, 
a month or two, three months before, I was out here making my like first single, and that's when like the pandemic like hit for the first time. Like in out March. here, so you weren't living here at the time. No, nah, I wasn't. I wasn't living out here. I was in North Carolina. Okay. That's, yeah, that's, that's my where hometown. you're from. Yeah. Okay. Now what? I think we're ready. Like, what was it? Like three fifty something, three twenty. It was it's, at three forty-five. It will definitely cook. It'll cook. I think it's time. Do we start. do them all at once? I heard like two is like keep okay. it at two and then like switch. It's kind of just like <laughs> maybe like lightly place it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's that's a good noise. It's doing it. It's doing the thing. Yeah, I'm gonna just let it do its thing. Nice. How long are they supposed to stay in for? I was told until they're golden brown. So So we got no time. Just kinda We're gotta, just going rogue. <laughs> just kinda gotta eye it. Uh, once right. the chicken reaches like 165. Okay. Oh. See? Oh. That was quick. I don't know if the inside made okay, yeah. should we check. I feel like we should check. Okay. Oh. Oh no. We oh. <laughs> 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 put it back. <laughs> it just needs a well. little. <laughs> How did that happen? Got a new paper towel yeah. We don't need a cross contaminant. Well, you live and you learn, and oh, oh. I'm a little, like, I'm a little, I'm sweating a little bit, nervous sweats. But in the meantime, let's talk about your songwriting process. I like writing alone, to be honest, because mm -hmm. I feel like that's when like I say what I truly mean, and like I'm not afraid to try and like rhyme weird things or stuff like that. Um, but I also work with this one writer a lot. His name is Nick Lopez. It's kind of like my main guy I work with. Can you talk about any like upcoming releases you have, or they like gotta stay on the down now? See, I got this one. <laughs> I got this one song. It's quite funny that, that you asked that. Um, I made this song on that TikTok is... for TikTok, like so so long ago, as like a joke, right? Uh huh. A year later, uh, I hear this sound on TikTok, and it's like a trend. And I'm like, oh, that's me. The song's like... called Rich Boy. So uh, yeah, I've been working on that. I think they're ready. This one looks yeah, like a little cactus or something. Oh, it kind of does, yeah. Let's, just, let's cut it open. Yeah, that's like uh, Oh, it's done. Oh, it's definitely fire. done. I feel like... Right? Yeah, that's that's done. That's for sure done. Look, that's okay. good. Perfect. <laughs> we nice. did it. Two more. Two more. Let's get it. Yeah. These are like the perfection. Yeah, ones. these ones, like, we're not yeah. going to mess these ones no. up. Oh, now it's bubbling. That's good. Uh... Ah, okay, we're good. We did not sign any waivers, Hold so you did not get injured. All right, next question. Yes. If you could collaborate with any artist, who would it be? Post Malone. Hell yeah. Yep. I Post love Malone. Post Malone. You've seen him live, I'm assuming? No, I haven't. I've, I've only seen Juice WRLD live. I mean, what's it like to blow up on TikTok? It was weird. I mean, I, I was on Musical.ly like, mm -hmm. during that in like okay. 2015. Um, and you were in a group, right? Like yeah. you were in like some wow, sort of you, like, yeah. Wow, you did your research. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was in a group. Um, it was like a little transition group. Okay, at the time. called? Uh, Junior Elite is what it's called. That's uh, fun. Yeah, because I did like a whole like TikTok tour and stuff oh, wow. like that. Yeah. What is a TikTok tour? Were you like performing or like nah, doing like dances and stuff? Like, <laughs> pretty much. Oh, honestly, really? Like, I'm not going to capture you. It's pretty much just like a traveling meet and greet kind of thing. Do like you that. find it hard to like be taken seriously as an artist at all? Like starting kind of in the influencer world or like you, that hasn't really been an issue for you? At, at first I like kind of dealt with that a mm -hmm. little bit. Personally it got to a point where it's like I really enjoy the music I'm making mm -hmm. and like People are obviously I, enjoying it. Yeah, people are enjoying it, yeah. and like I've been doing instruments and all that since I was nine. So like, I, it's not like I need to find myself in music mm -hmm. through like people accepting it. If that yeah. makes sense. All right. Then, shall we? Okay. So I'm just going to manifest that this chicken is cooked and it it's is cooked. great. It's yeah, cooked. It's for sure cooked. Yeah, a white chicken. Is it too cooked? No. 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 no not at all. Honestly, it's cutting really easily. So. It looks. Not it looks perfect. Bad. Like it really looks good. Like I'm gonna try a piece real quick. All right. Oh, wait, gonna... do you need like a dipping sauce? Like what are we what are we gonna work with? I'm a ketchup guy with chicken. Okay, so we got our chicken. Yeah. If you get food poisoning, that's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Alright, ready? That's really not bad at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, see, it's pretty fire. Yeah, hey. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty fire, actually. Has a nice crunch to it. Yeah. Nice. I'm nervous in the beginning when it was still pink, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, we're professionals. Yeah. Gordon Ramsay and Martha Story. Biscuit? We cater? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Alright, biscuit. I had these before. These are always good. These are but... so good. They always hit. Mm hmm. Buttery. 
Mm-hmm. All you need in a biscuit. And some crunch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> All right, well, this was very fun. So Thank fun. you so much, Peyton, for coming on of course. and making fried chicken with us. I wish I could use this recipe in the future, but again, <laughs> you know, we can make but a plant-based one next time. Yeah, oh, true. Mm-hmm. All right, on the next episode. Of Ones to Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> All right, eat up. Uh-huh. That's it. Uh-huh.